My name is Okae Akibe. I'm a self-taught illustrator. So the LinkedIn name actually came about because I'm the only person in my family that is this lean. Like I've never been fat or anything. So my brother would just be like, hey, LinkedIn, you come here, Joe. When I was opening uh, my Instagram page, I was thinking of a name and I couldn't come up with anything. So I was like, oh, LinkedIn. So it stuck and I just went with it. So now I use it as my business name as well. I have always loved drawing. I've been drawing since I was little, primary school, secondary school. I, I remember drawing, but I wasn't drawing fashion then. I was drawing comics, cartoons, Batman, Superman, stuff like that. I started focusing on fashion when I left secondary school. That's when I found an interest in fashion. Basically, an illustrator helps to bring ideas to life. Like, for example, if a designer has a project or a collection that she wants to work on, the, illust the illustrator brings that idea to life so that you can see the finished product before it is made here. Yeah. My illustration style is simple but detailed and I try as much as possible to make it realistic. I chose fashion because fashion is basically what we live every day. People have to wear clothes, people have to go out, people do, people dress up for things and events and it's very fun and interesting. I grew up around fashionable people. That kind of influenced my art towards that area. Okay, so basically I, I like to start with a pencil and paper. I, I generally just like the feel of pencil and paper, so I would prefer to draw on paper first. So when I have the idea of what I want to do, I do a rough sketch of it. Then I transfer it to my drawing tab, my iPad. Then I do all the coloring and painting from there. So I prefer to use my finger because it's faster for me as opposed to using a pen, but I do use a pen sometimes once in a while. The most important aspect for me would be to be able to pass across a message or to be able to impact the people that are going to see the illustration. Like, I would want people to see the illustration and be like, oh, this is, maybe they could relate or this is something that they would like to do. Something, it should be able to impact, make an impact somehow. When I get the picture, I want to use the color, first of all, is like the, Determining facts like when I see the color, I'm like, oh my god, I have to do this because it's attractive. Then the style of the outfit, sometimes the person wearing it, because I feel some some outfits that only some particular people can carry, like Rihanna wearing something, so something like that. Yeah. My first major client would be. Matt Wayne. So Matt Wayne is a training school. It's a training school. So I was in the university and during the holiday, I was looking for where to work. So I carried my portfolio in hand and I got there and I showed them and they were like, did you study fashion or did you have? And I was like, no, it's just like, I was a hobby then. I just wanted to make money from it. So. She gave me a job and I was designing for her then. So she kind of brought me more into the fashion world. Then I worked for Toju Foye when I was in the university. I worked for Toju Foye in the university and Toju literally kind of pushed me out there and I started meeting other clients too. 
I have drawn for GT Bank, Lagos Fashion Week. I've worked with Nobu. I've worked with um, Hennessy. I've worked with Moet and Shandon. I have worked with Future Awards. The project I was, I'm especially proud of would be the project I worked on with Toju for Banky and Adesora's wedding. So I drew Adesora's traditional outfits and the outcome, it came out like exactly how the drawings were and it was really amazing. It was awesome. The feeling of accomplishing that because it was, it was very, very, it was very, very interesting because before the wedding, I had drawn the dresses, but then they still had to put in more details. So I had to go back as well to fix in the details to make sure that everything looks like exact, but it came out really well. It's very good. For those interested in illustrations, number one, you must know how to draw. It's very important you know how to draw. Number two, you should be consistent. It sounds very cliche, but consistency is key because the more you draw and the more you do your work, the better you become. The better you become, so consistency. I would love to work with a lot of people in the future. Maybe Dela Sego, maybe internationally, maybe Louis Vuitton, Chanel, I like Chanel. It's really simple and classy. I see myself doing a wider range of illustrations, probably more than fashion, most likely more than fashion. Hopefully exhibitions. I want to go like all out, everything I can do illustrations. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. If I have to give myself an advice, for the future, I would say be humble, just keep working hard and the best is yet to come.